What's up, YouTube? Stat44 coming in with another video. Five things that make men insecure about women. Before I get started, I want to get a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my red subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button in the corner of your screen. Hit that notification bell as well. You get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right to this video. Five things that make men insecure about women. Yes, I said insecure about women. Guys, let, let's just be honest, guys. Women are the gatekeepers of sex. They're going to give it to who they want it to. But we are the gatekeepers of marriage. And I always tell you guys the plan, purpose, program is you versus you. Be the best version of yourself. And when you do these things, it takes care of your insecurities. But I feel like it's five things that men can look at women and get insecure automatically about if they don't do the work. So I'm going to break it down from number five all the way to number one. Number, number five, your success rate with women. You know, if you have a bad success rate with women or you can get them, but you can't hold them down, then you might want to look at yourself and say, what am I doing wrong? You might want to hit me up for a coaching session. You might want to look out to other people on YouTube or just start working on your goddamn self. Let's just be honest. Your success rate should be high if you if you if you put yourself as a priority as a man. And if you're not making changes, then your success rate will be low. So that's my number five. Number four, a woman's lifestyle can intimidate you. It can make you insecure because you feel like I might not can't keep up what she's used to. She might be used to trips to Cosmo, Mexico, or going overseas or going to the Bahamas and things like that, a woman's lifestyle or her Instagram or her following could make you insecure or the way she dressed or the way she hang out with a certain amount of people. You got to understand that does this, does this fit or I must have quit? Let's just be honest. It's levels to it. I wouldn't be hanging out with men and their women because I'm just a regular dude. So I ain't saying I can't get them, but I got to know my lane. So make sure you match a woman's lifestyle. If you don't match a woman's lifestyle, you're going to feel a certain type of way because she got access to a certain type of dudes. But always know you that dude no matter what. But just be realistic of what her appetite is and what your appetite is as well. So that's my number four. Number three, height and weight. You can't do nothing about your height. Let's just be honest. But you can do something about your weight and your and your looks and your grooming. You can't do nothing about your face, but you can go get that haircut. Make sure you, you're lined up pretty good. Make sure you're dressing well. Make sure you're, you're the best version of who you can be and be happy within your own skin. So this is a big one. When you leave out... You leave room, wiggle room to not be the best version of yourself. You're eventually going to feel insecure because you're, like I said, on the success rate, you're not going to think you can hold a woman down. So make sure you work on yourself all the way that take care of your body and take care of your grooming. You can't help your height, but deal with people. I mean, you could be five, six as a guy. Deal with women that's going to be five, four, two inches shorter than you or four, eleven. It's plenty of nice petite women that's small, that if you're five six or five seven as a guy, you can pull a five one woman and she'll be happy. But make sure you look like you put yourself together and you will attract what you speak for and what you want for as a man. That's my number three. Number two, your money. Now, let's just be honest. Like I just said, if I was to date a woman that was making a million dollars or was married to a man with a million dollars, she ain't going to want to date a guy that's making six figures and stuff like that she might say she do but her appetite for dating a millionaire is is there or if she's making as a guy making five hundred thousand or two hundred fifty thousand you only making eighty thousand let's just be real you have to judge a woman on what she used to used to have you know sometimes money don't matter but she has to come with you with that dynamic and that's why it's good to have those discussions about her relationship history just know your lane when it comes to money. You know, if you just like you, if you work and making 80 grand a year and then you dating a woman at Burger King, her mindset is going to be different than yours. Try to get somebody that's close within the 50s or 60s if you make an 80K because it makes a difference of the lifestyle or the things you have in common or the circle of friends that you have. If you're if you're like, like if I'm dating a millionaire woman, I'm not going to be 
cool with the circle of friends. I've got friends that makes a lot of money, but it's just a different circle, social circle that you deal with when you just have to find your lane in your social circle with money wise, when you've been dating, entertaining, or dealing with people, period. Just understand your social circle and master that circle and your insecurities will go away. Last but not least, we can't do nothing about hypergamy. Let's just be honest. Women will going to be hypergamous. They're going to get the best dude they think they can get. So that's why you have to be the best version of yourself. And when you be the best version of yourself, only approach women that's going to give you choosing signals. I mean, it's okay to shoot your shot, but make sure you grab the rebound and put it back up. But if she's not shoot, if she's not giving you the choosing signal, what's the point of wasting your time? It's kind of counterproductive. Yeah, at the end of the day, you got to prove something to somebody that didn't even choose you. Why would you want a relationship like that? Make sure if you deal with somebody that that likes you for you, make sure they show you a little choosing signal or something. And that's why I said be the best version of you. They give you a choosing signal. They will give you that vibe if they try to use you. That's why you got to have discernment for yourself. So make sure you realize, understand, and master who you are as a man, period, because you will understand what women... The, the women that's with you or against you or just in your way. So make sure you master yourself. That's the only way you could dummy down hypergamy is to be in your lane and deal with people that's in your tribe, like my boy Ron Will say. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. To go over the list one more time from the bottom to the top, number five, your success rate is key to be, be confident with your success rate. <clears throat> number four, lifestyle your lifestyle you know her lifestyle gotta match your lifestyle you gotta be cool on the lifestyle number three your height and weight you can't do nothing about your height but you can't do something about your weight and you can't do something about your appearance and your grooming number two your money make sure you get in a tax bracket and deal with people in your tax bracket or people that's willing to deal with you before your tax bracket that's gotta be on point and number one Hypergamy is nothing you can do about hypergamy. Besides, the best way to be hypergamy is to be the best version of yourself. The women are going to choose who they want, but just remember, they the gatekeepers of sex. We the gatekeepers of marriage. So don't let don't don't, don't let yourself be the safety net guy. But I want you guys to stack attack your life. I want you guys to stack attack your life. I want you guys to plan purpose program. Remember, it's you versus you. Take care of yourself. Then everything else will fall in line. Your insecurities will go away. And I'll holler at you on the next video. Peace.